Oh, wow. Wow. Right. Oh, wow. Damn. So DJ Envy and Caesar Pina. What? Yeah, I got to keep up with this, y'all. I been was trying to add it up, but they basically hit with fraud. Yeah. Insurance fraud. Not insurance fraud. Bigger than that. Well, I don't know which one's bigger. Never mind. Never mind. You're going to get the point when I say real estate fraud. Yeah, that way. So, um, yeah. Apparently, DJ uh, Envy has teamed up with this guy named Caesar Pina. Yeah, who been subpoenaed by the feds and locked up on Income on to now. Well, let me let me let me show y'all that right here, right now. Oh, uh. a one million dollars bond and is being released on electronic monitoring. He cannot leave the state of New Jersey. No comment from DJ Envy. An inside source tells us that the iHeartRadio offices were visited by the feds who took out electronic equipment as part of this investigation. From New York, Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this hot ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh, uh. well, as you can see, yeah, business didn't go as investors expected to go. Yeah, but now. DJ Envy tugging his tail. Yeah. But let me talk to y'all about DJ Envy for a minute. Yeah. Like most times when I see um, things on like YouTube or anything of that nature. Cause I done got scammed for Bitcoin. I ain't going to cap to y'all. Excuse me. My uh, phone about to go dead. But I ain't going to cap. I, gotta keep, I lost about 30000 Now I'm messing with the Bitcoin with all the scams. Lost 10 of scams and 20 by myself. But that's another story. Hey, I thought I was a pro. I thought I was a pro. But when you got people like DJ Envy going on on a platform that's owned by iHeartRadio, yeah, that way, it makes iHeartRadio look bad, first of all. Second of all, for DJ Envy, even if he's involved or not involved, but we know he was because they got him listed as CEO. Just give me time. I'm going to show y'all on the what? On the news clip I got. Patience is the virtue. So basically, yeah. Um, he goes on there, will bring Caesar Pina on there, yeah, and promote, uh, yeah, invest your money. We got houses in Patterson, New Jersey. I grew up in Patterson with my aunt and I'm on the summertime. My mama used to drop me off. Ain't nothing but some hood ratchet-ish out there. Ain't no properties that's looking like it's, yeah, gonna be successful. Gonna be successful. So, um, I was listening to DJ Academics, he said, yeah, I'm not making fun of the people who was investing, but they some jackasses. Don't care that they should go to them. I'm sorry, y'all. It just is what it is. Y'all got to do y'all due diligence for y'all just throwing money. But, you know, I'm not going to go hard on y'all because we all make mistakes just like I did in Bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, that way. Yeah. And other, uh, yeah, coins, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they want just, never mind. Never mind. You know, I'm just trying to give you some of my reality or what reality going on when it all was a fantasy. But if I'm looking on Breakfast Club like DJ Envy back in it, if I had them lost some Bitcoins, and I'm looking at everything is fake. I'm just telling y'all no. Don't come in my inbox talking about investing this or sending me stuff offline. I'm not doing it no more. I learned my lesson. All right, it's round from the bottom to the top. You understand me? Yeah, that way. But at the end of the day, um, yeah, um, Envy chose to bring his boy Caesar on there. But it wasn't the fact that he just brought Caesar on there. It's the fact that he's partners with him. That's why he brought him on there. Now all of a sudden, the money got took, just disappeared, poof, be gone when y'all show up to share. Yeah, share the same office. Excuse me. I'm getting a little riled up here thinking about my own losses and shenanigans like this. That way. But um, it might be hit for him because on the next news clip, I'm going to show y'all. I know I keep talking about it. Yeah, and it's coming though. Y'all can bear to hear me in my opinion for a minute. And welcome to y'all in the comments too. Y'all definitely welcome to y'all in the comments. But make sure y'all be respectful because I curse a bitch out. Now, let's proceed. 
So, DJ Envy, hmm. Yes, bring Caesar on. Um, they're doing seminars together. Angela Lee, like, look, I didn't invest with them. But in one clip, he did bring her name up. Angela's going to talk to you guys. She does good on real estate, but he never said that she did it with them. So that frees Angela, Angela Yee. Hopefully, hopefully, Angela, you should tell him. Don't be calling my name out no bullshit like that. Yeah, that way. Yeah. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that way. Keep your name out the fuckery, Angela. Tell him. Yeah, you can send to him through text with them little fingernails with the swash like that. You know, when girls be talking ish and they say, never mind. I guess getting a nail pin, you know. Ta. That way. Keep my name about there. Cause yeah, you brought this dude on there. You're advertising with him on this news clip, like I was trying to tell y'all. Y'all gonna see him listed as a CEO. So how a CEO ain't got none of the money? You full of ish. You full of ish. And a lot of people saying, look, if it wasn't for your platform, we wouldn't have been on there. You got a guy on this news clip talking about he lost 200 some thousand, his life savings. You got this news reporter or anchor going hard for the squad as she should. You got your boy right here, uh, yeah, Tony the Closer. Yeah, because he got business going on. And if you don't know, by y'all business not going right, it looks bad on other real estate recruiters for investors. Yeah, so he's going hard. He don't give a damn. He said, y'all call me police. Yeah, that way. Check out Tony the Closer page. He has more closure than I can give you on this. <laughs> yeah, that way. But at the end of the day, yeah. So, um, yeah, he took 200000 for this dude on here. You got other people saying he lost 800000 And he feels like DJ Envy is a big piece of this. To my, I ain't got no money. Oh, playing the victim. That what he say. Collateral damage. Like you just, yeah, you got hurt too. Like your partners ran off with your thing after y'all had your own office intertwined with each other. And all of a sudden, you ain't got this and you ain't got that. I was wondering how you bought on cars for the car show. You were just laundering their money, in my opinion, y'all. Yeah, that way. Let's put it all alleged. Laundering money like this, buying stuff for car shows. And mad at Rick Ross for investing his money in the real thing, which was what? Cattle? Yeah. Doing his own car show on his land? Yeah. Certain qualities you ain't have in your car show, buddy. You had to hit a few more licks. <laughs> but your licks has come to an end. You and Caesar, her now. Oh, they got, yeah, listen, they got his wife on there too. The anchor asked her, yeah, the news anchor asked her a privy question. Well, she said, only Caesar can answer that. She said, there's no private uh, islands, no no uh, private jets. We don't, I don't know. You have to ask him where the money went. Yeah, that way. I know where the money went at. Because I seen a picture of him. Matter of fact, a video in the strip club. I hope you fuck some. Just throw your money away for free. Get your wife to dance for you or something. And then y'all got to learn from this, man. Y'all can't deal. Listen, even if I do business for my business, I'm going to put a suit and tie on. That's a traditional way. Don't deal with nobody who got a chain hanging over a hoodie. Yeah, and DJ Amy on the side of him the same way. They look like they're trying to rob something. Got their hands like that, the pistol in there. But they ain't using that one right there in the hoodie. You know what I'm talking about, the pockets. They're using this one to rob y'all ass. And the iHeart Radio, you should be ashamed of y'all self. Y'all should have clipped that episode. He bringing this trash on there. Y'all got the big, listen. iHeart Radio, y'all here responsible too now. This is y'all poster board. Yeah, he posted the wrong ish. Yeah, for his own personal self gain. Charlemagne can't even say this man. Much as he love him, but if it was a real business deal, Charlemagne would have been in it. Believe me. You see, Charlemagne said, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Charlemagne said, ah, yeah. And he actually should, yeah, continue to push in your head. He had nothing. Yeah, he was one on the flyers that y'all going to yeah, give y'all money. Yeah. And I don't wish to jail on nobody. But I don't wish a black lady I seen on it. I don't matter if she was black or white, y'all, but. I just felt it because I know so many people had their mind in the right spot and they might be waiting for years for a settlement. And she's waiting on this car accident and got $750. The man got out of all $750,000. My fault. Let's take, yeah, put the thousand of dollars I said pre, yeah, previously to this. Yeah, that way. But at the end of the day, here's the video, you guys. 
Yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. But well, here it is, right now, right here. Oh, whoa. Team exclusive update, radio personality DJ Envy responding to our investigation about, about investors who say that they were conned by his business partner. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace broke the story last night and joins us with the new details. My attorneys don't want me to speak, but I think there's things that I need to clear up a little bit. I think you should listen to your attorney. Up until today, DJ Envy has never publicly addressed the controversy surrounding his one-time business partner, Cesar Pena, on the celebrity's syndicated show, The Breakfast Club. In fact, Envy has repeatedly promoted Pena's real estate seminars and investment opportunities. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. Even as lawsuits began mounting by investors who claimed they were ripped off by Caesar for hundreds of thousands of dollars in a real estate venture involving distressed New Jersey properties, not a word from Envy on the air until the I-Team interviewed multiple alleged victims who say they bought in because of the reputation of the radio host. DJ Envy absolutely is equally to blame. He is on a major platform, which is not only in New York, but across the United States. Envy on his show, now denying any involvement in Caesar's real estate deals. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's totally not true. And he's trying to do damage control. It was DJ Envy who personally introduced me to Caesar. Anthony Barone says he toured Patterson, New Jersey properties with Envy and Caesar, then invested $500,000 in a planned apartment project and another $300,000. I invested in Flip to Down, which was an online uh, platform for fractional shares in buildings. DJ Envy is listed as the co-founder. I'm down 800000 And you think he's responsible in some way? I think he's absolutely responsible. It's not true. Like, well, that should be, that's, that's fake news. Like, well, those are fake stories. What was your reaction to DJ Envy's response? I was shocked. I was shocked, honestly. Because uh, I truly believe he knew Caesar was scamming people. Michael Ventura says he invested $200,000, his life savings in a Patterson property. As with virtually everyone we spoke with, he also heard that Envy pitch. This is unfair. It's unfair. We you know we're trying to chase the American dream, just working, you know, provide the best for our family. And then that dream is, is being crushed. Caesar declined to be interviewed on advice of his attorneys. His wife, Jennifer, promised they will make investors whole. Where's all the money? Where did all the money go? That's that's a Caesar answer for you right there. You know, there's no there's no private island. There's no there's no house in the Dominican Republic. There's no yachts. There's no fancy cars. You know, that's an answer for Caesar to, to give to you, not for me. Envy's attorney is now seeking to have all of the lawsuits against him dismissed. iHeart Media could be named in future lawsuits. Several investors telling us they believe the corporation could be held legally culpable for their star's endorsements now under scrutiny. From Tribeca, Sarah Wallace, News for New York. Well, there you have it. Yes. How many of y'all think DJ Envy is not getting locked up by a raise of hand? Now, nah, just let me know in the comments. I can't see y'all. <laughs> but any of Yeah, that way. I believe his ass is going in there. He going to have an ankle monitor too and on bond. And I believe he brought damage to the franchise of iHeartRadio. Because you know how people like to sue. You know? When people in the got dog on a food store and slip on water, they don't sue the water. They don't sue the company the water come from, they sue the stove. And being that DJ Envy, yeah, advertised it under the store of yeah, iHeartRadio, they gonna come for them too. So iHeartRadio, in my opinion, ain't gonna have no choice but to let the light skin ninja go. <laughs> yeah, that way. Then what happened when you let light skin ninjas do thug stuff? It's two of them too. <laughs> they always fuck up. Yeah, stay out the streets. Stay DJ in. Yeah, stay doing radio. Don't go outside trying to do Ponzi schemes. Y'all just ain't got it in y'all. I'm just playing all my light skin brothers out there. Shouts out to you. But yeah, that way, they did make y'all look bad though. Y'all need to get on their ass. Yeah, but Drake still save y'all though. Drake still make y'all look good. <laughs> Until we try to him. Yeah, let go. But um, yeah, 
I think they're going to come for iHeartRadio. They can't lock them up, but I'm just saying they're going to put that pressure on them. They're going to have to let DJ Envy take a leave, right? And then he's going to need some other leave when the feds come and give him that headache. Yeah. And he's going to have to bond out too because you got people on the news saying, yeah, I believe 100% he has something to do with it. I wouldn't have got into it unless I seen it on All Heart Radio Show, which is The Breakfast Club, and DJ Envy pushing it with his uh, accomplice. That way. And you can't say you ain't part of it, you ain't got no money when it clearly says CEO on that video I just showed y'all. Yeah, that way. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all think, yeah, DJ Envy just gonna deserve it. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Oh, right, shut up. Shut up. Because that ain't what that lady say. You took a whole $750,000. A black queen just took her money. She probably planned on, like, you know, finally showing her family she could do something in life. Yeah. I'm about to get in this real estate. Probably been studying these books so long and was planning on doing herself. She ran across what? Yeah, iHeartRadio show, The Breakfast Club. And she watched it. She said, you know what? That might be easier. I trust Envy. You know, I've been listening to him for years. Yeah, signed up. And it gave her money away. And trusting you. You think the feds going to overlook that? Look here. Look here. Your boy locked up. He out now on bond, y'all. They just like... Okay, Rico charges for organizations. Yeah. Caesar ain't do that by himself. You was the draw in man. You're part of that organization. Yeah. You can catch some of that Rico, in my opinion. Just like the gangs. You up there throwing up gang signs and you're spilling the beans on here like Brick Baby homeboys from the 6 0. Yeah. If something go down, he grabbing all y'all ass. And in my opinion, and then Tony Close's opinion, yeah, they're going to grab DJ MV2. But that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. Make sure y'all use your mind and think. Because the mind is a terrible thing to waste. And I'm going out hard the same way I came in. Oh, My baby dragon said, send some cash out so he eat. Good, like he eat every day. Yeah, send some cash apps. What's your cash app? Dollar sign I A M S U P A K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how he looking around. Look, yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now, come on now. Show some love for the better dragon. He trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> wow.